All right, so, 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 I believe we have everything for the circuit, and we have everything for the extractor. Very nice. And I just went and got a whole bunch of sticky resins. So we got a 17 of that. I just want to double check if we don't have any more. But one of the other things that we can do is we can actually extract rubber wood as well. So that's a nice thing. Now this, if you extract it, it gives you three. Uh, there's a few other recipes that you can do. But rubber wood will give you one. So it's not a bad idea to sometimes just throw that in and get that process started and running. You know, you don't usually need... 64 but i kind of have a feeling in this mod pack we probably will for whatever reason i have a feeling that we're going to need a lot of rubber and a lot of things so got that going we've ran out of cold coke we are draining out our battery box which is not ideal but it is going to work for us so all things considered not too too bad we could add more cold coke in I think, overall, let's take a quick look at the guide. We didn't do that in a little bit, so let's take a quick look. We are in the industrial area. Uh, Macerator needs eight diamonds, and the metal former needs four. So you need diamonds. Uh, to be able to craft the metal former, you need a compressor first. Okay. As a side note, the storage crate, which is a crafting ingredient for the metal former, is also a great big chest, should you consider using it. Uh, we just made an extractor, so I think our next goal is to get ourselves the compressor. Um, solar panels, wind turbines, and later semi-fluid generators that can run on tier 2 canola oil. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. I also wanted to look up one other thing, and I don't know when I can get it. Thermal electric generator from immersive engineering requires steel. Okay. LV wire and nori. That's not too bad. And nori is pretty easy to get. It's going to be a little bit. Uh, Constantine is something we can just smelt, right? Is there an alloy for that? There's an alloy. So nickel copper. So we can get the Constantine. Ultimately, it's just the Inori crystal and the steel that we're going to be waiting on, which is reinforced iron, which is iron and advanced machine block, which requires the compressor and a whole bunch of things. But that's going to be a good way to go, I feel, uh, a little bit later on. Definitely. We're running out of power pretty darn quick here, though, so we may have to invest a little bit more in our power system. But right here is my plan where we are going to put the compressor. So let's quickly look at the compressor. I might just get the items together off camera. You've seen me build these before. So I'm going to grab them off camera here for you. And uh, we'll be back to build the compressor. And exactly as promised, there we go. Our compressor is completed. The only catch is, well, I don't have another tin. Uh, let's quickly get two more of those, and we can get a few more tin cables while we're at it here. Oh, well, that's good. It's not, it's not shaped. Okay, good. Boom, boom. And we might as well just do all three. Okay, so we can put down our compressor right there. All of these, as a quick note, do require low voltage power. Okay. So all of these, that 32 output, all of these can handle that. This cable that can handle 32, same thing, all right? So the further you get down the line, there is a 0.2 loss. So as you can see, this one's probably 32. This one would be 31.8, 31.6, 31 31.5. So all that kind of stuff. And I think next episode, we are going to be in a place where we can look at getting the metal former, which is going to require these toolboxes and coils, which requires a whole bunch of copper, another basic machine frame, another circuit up here. That guy we can't do yet. But this requires diamonds, which we need a couple more of, chess, wood casing, cheap, dense gold, 
and dense iron. So quite a few resources, all things considered. So, in the meantime, between now and, well, next episode, I guess. Are we already at that point? We got a lot of work to do. We gotta get more gold. We gotta get more rubber. We gotta get more iron. We gotta get more hammering. All the things, basically. So, quite a bit to do. I really appreciate all of you being here. I really appreciate all the support on Age of Engineering, Qantas, Final Fantasy XII. Give it a shot. I dare you. Give it a shot. Why not? It's, it's good. I have fun with it. There's a good story there. And I think I'm just going to keep playing it and uploading it. So, if you want a little extra dose of acrylic for a long period of time, that's the place to go. Hands down. Anyways, time for me to go get my mining on. Ooh, actually. Hold on. Tool forge. Dense steel. Okay. Dense steel is the way that we need. So we need some steel. We need some steel, ladies and gentlemen. How do we get steel? Blast furnace. So, metal former into blast furnace. Blast Furnace requires the Blast Furnace from IC2, which is like a lot of work. Okay, cool. So either way, I need a lot of resources, and I think the Metal Former is the way to go first. So let's get the Metal Former next episode, and we'll uh, see you Bye-bye for now. Leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Have a good one. And we are back again with some more Age of Engineering. I know, right? We're getting on top of things here. I feel like I'm on top of things. But I'm probably not. I'm doing everything wrong. Uh, no. I'm trying my best, okay? Uh, I think I figured out the whole audio thing. I was still having a little bit of an audio difficulty. But I'm pretty sure I fixed it in the latest... Quantus episode there with Mr. Wells Knight, the fantabulous. Uh, but we are back here in this world, so let's worry about this world. It's a lot later. I'm going strong for a long time here tonight um, for reasons, as I explained before vacation and, you know, getting things done. So we need a block cutting blade for our macerator. Right? So, we need that guy. It's diamonds. Eight diamonds circled around like so. Now, I want to get this started. So, let's do two of you. Good. Get back here, you. Uh, so, it's two of those. It is a couple bit of cobble. So, let's get some cobble. That's pretty easy. Uh, Alright, I had it on me. It's fine. Uh, totally didn't notice that. Uh, okay, so we got that. We got the expensive part. That was honestly the expensive part. Now, for the next expensive part, we need the iron. So let's get that. One, two, three, four, five. Sixteen total iron with the forge hammer, which only has 64 uses left. So we're using another eight off of that thing. It is going down pretty quickly. I'm not going to lie with you guys. That, around like so, is going to give us the basic machine casing. Last but not least is... The electronic circuit, which is one more iron plate, dang, so that's a little bit more, as well as copper cable, which is three copper plates. Oh, really? Is that really a thing? Are we honestly just a little bit short? We are. Okay, so we need at least two more iron, right, with the hammer. Why did I put it away? I do not know. So, we'll do this. That'll give us our plate, right? Uh, we'll do this quickly. We'll get some of those plates. And we might as well start that process of the cutting. Okay? Uh, we have some more rubber right here. That's good. So, we can start this like so. This guy can do up to 128 EU per tick. So, keep that in mind as you upgrade that guy. We need two redstone to get this done. Good. And last but not least is the copper that we just harvested up. Okay. So, that should give us the masonry. 
And what that's ultimately going to do for us is this 50 iron ore, right now it'd be 50 iron ingots, that's going to get us 100 iron out of that one piece of ore. Let alone some of the other stuff here, like the gold, that's going to double that as well, which is very, very useful overall. And it's going to be very beneficial. Okay, so boom, one of these. Boom, boom, and the cutter. Excellent. And the rubber. Awesome. All right. Electronic circuit. Get. Macerator. Get. Okay. All right, everybody. That is good stuff right there. So, I want to place it down, I think, right here. I think I want to have a block in between. So, we're going to place it down there. Now, the problem with placing it down there is we definitely have to deal with some more insulated tin and stuff like that as we are going instead of just placing it right down beside so we're gonna place that down like that and i decided i do want to get that bat box i definitely want to get that bat box so this guy is going to require one tin insulated and a whole bunch more tin and then six redstone as well okay so we are going to need four tin total if i'm not mistaken for this process all right so i'm just gonna get one more just getting just getting one more tin to get this done okay so that's going to take the hammer and that again i put it away for no reason good uh that'll give us the tin this is the ingot cast excellent so we'll just quickly get another ingot here all right so now we have four is that going to be enough? That's not enough. That's not enough in the slightest. That's enough just to cut. That's just enough to cut. All right. And then we need four rubber, I believe, to do this. Yes. Okay. We'll store that in there. So these guys are going to be... Three of them are going to be for the battery. One up there. So the battery is going to go here. We got the three. So for this, we need another... One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. See? You know? That's what I get. That's what I get for, uh, you know, not listening. Okay? Another six, ten. Ten at least smelts very quickly in this smeltery. Look at how fast it smelts. That's wonderful. Uh, so we'll just pour out the ingots instead of the block. Because the block does take a long time to harden compared to the ingots. It's, it's the better solution, but this will proceed a little bit quicker. Overall, getting this macerator is going to be massive for our overall production. We are doubling everything we are about to do. So, in my mind, this is a huge win. Okay, six of those. Wow. Just, I told you it was late, didn't I? Did I tell you guys it was late? Because it's late. <laughs> oh, boy. Totally miscalculated that. 100%. Um, yeah. Full-on miscalculation. I hope you guys are enjoying the Age of Engineering uh, mod pack. I know that a lot of other... I'm a little bit late to the party with it, but hopefully some people can still enjoy my playthrough of it. And we can progress nicely towards an end goal of... Well, beating it. That's my goal in this pack. I would like to beat it. And I know that it's going to take a while. So that's good. It's good. Maybe we'll get some other fantastic packs while we're waiting. Alright, three batteries. Done, done, done. We need a little bit of wood. So let's just get out this. Because I have oak wood on me. So we'll just do oak wood, bat box. Alright, so now we can at least store a little bit more energy. Okay, and we have power in our macerator. So, if I throw this in with its noisy machinery, you're going to see that our power is still going up because we're burning coal, which I would love to get a different fuel source for that. Oh, how about some coal cook? Great idea. Great idea. We might as well use it, right? Okay. And that's going to give us crushed iron. So one of those gives us crushed iron, which we can just smelt. 
Um, ultimately, we could look at getting an electric furnace. It's probably the best way to go. It probably should be done. And it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. So another iron furnace. That's five. Six. So that's 12 iron. 12 iron. And six copper. That's not that bad. And a little bit more rubber. Right? Like, I think that's kind of our biggest problem at the moment. But we have some more sticky resin that we can utilize. So let's quickly get a little bit more of this. And let's make the iron furnace. Let's do it. We don't have enough iron there, but we can take this out of here and smelt it out. We already have enough, all things considered, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we'll take two. Um, you know what? I'm going to make another... You know what? Yeah, let's make another furnace. Just because. Just because we can. Okay, we'll throw that guy down. We'll throw that, and we'll start smelting up this iron. I think we can also... Can we throw this in the smelter? No, you cannot throw this back into the smelter. Okay. So, little things that we're learning. Now, we could go with the Tinker smelter. That is really good. It is a very, very good smelter or furnace, and we might go that route right away here. So, that should give us the right amount. Good. We're getting some more rubber. That's fantastic. Let's work on the six copper first and get the copper wires that we need. So that'll give us the plates. The plates turn into the wires. The wires get coated with the rubber. Excellent. Okay, that guy's done with a few extras. Good. Let's get this in place with our one, two pieces of redstone. Pretty basic. This recipe's kind of been the same since inception, hasn't it? Acquire hardware. Energy flow. Oh god, we just got a couple achievements, apparently. Okay, good. Electronic circuit. Excellent. Now that this guy is done, we can break it. And we can use this to get ourselves the furnace of the iron. Of the iron. Okay, so that's two... Boom, five, and six. Is that it? I think we got it. I think we got it. So that should give us the iron furnace. Boom, with that, and two pieces of redstone. One and two. And we need one more tin cable, right? Because we need to have some power going to this device. So let's throw those in. Electric furnace. Very good. Now we're just going to throw it down right beside over here. Like so. So we should be getting power. What is that, dude? That I'm unfamiliar. Um, now one other thing is you can upgrade these machines. You can upgrade them. Uh, let's just see. Ejector upgrade. What does this require? Tin plates with a piston. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I might need a little bit more tin to do that, but what I'm thinking is we can quickly auto set up a full system here to work to our advantage. So, let's see. How much tin do we have? We have three. That's only six. I think we need eight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we're going to need a little bit more tin. Let's just go see if we can quickly find some on camera here. Tin's usually not that bad to find. We can probably... Is there some in here? Yeah, right there. Right there. I didn't mine that up. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of dark spots still in here that I never ended up coming back for uh, with this big old cavern. Ah! And there's a skeleton! That I just knocked off the ledge accidentally. Well, I'm okay with that. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Well, rip. Hi. Hello. You can't get me, I can't get you. Okay. Good. 
So, let's get this tin quickly. Surprised by a skeleton. Alright, we'll get this. And we can start duplicating this up as well using that macerator, which will be fantastic. I kind of want to do a little bit of this, though. I really do. At least this big, wide, open area. We might as well light it up a little bit better than what we already have. We don't need bad guys all up in our grill. And if we can quickly do this... And look at all the tin that we just found. This is obviously a very good level for tin. So, I like it. Oh, and more iron. Nice. Okay. Sorry. I don't want to mine. I don't want to be mining right now. But, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to the mining. Because you need to be in this pack. There's a lot of it that you will need to probably do. This goes down pretty nicely, too. Um, very nicely, actually. Okay, we're out of torches, though, so that ends our mining excursion. All right, let's head on up. You come here. Give me your wings. Give me your wing. Hey, come here. You get down here right now, mister. Wing? No wing. Okay, that's fine. Bat wings are really good to get early on. Okay, let's head on back up through our cave here. We got the tin that we require, and hopefully we should be able to start smelting that almost immediately here. Which will be good. We also have more sticky resin that we can go harvest, which is also very good. But we will not be using the smeltery anymore for our ores. Just because. Uh, let's just remove that quickly, and let's work on some stuff. Then we can throw this in there, and that should, let's see, we are easily maintaining, which is good. Very good. We'll let that do its thing. I want to get this tin. I want to get eight, and we'll just throw it in the old furnace over here and get things up and running. So we'll get the eight going. That should, that should give us a pretty good starting point. Overall, I have to push a lot of this stuff through here, but let's just confirm that a piston is not a crazy recipe. It is not. Okay, so let's quickly make two pistons for this beautiful, beautiful recipe. We have everything that we need, I believe. Two of you, two, 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 and two. Okay, two pistons. Good. The only catch is those darn plates. Perfect time. Come back here. Grab out the eight, we can throw these into the furnace. And slowly but surely progress forward. This guy here, I'm thinking we need to make another tank. We need to get this creosote out of here. So that we can continue to progress. So, well, let's quickly look up a fluid tank while we're waiting for all this stuff to progress on. Um, so this holds 1,400, so that'll almost double our capacity of our system so that's good and it's not overly expensive for redstone for iron all things considered not bad not bad at all now here's a fun question can we just do this yeah we can okay good so now we have a thing of creosote that we can access and we can get more coal process to get more coal coke i need to mine more coal we need more lapis, we need more fortune. Just all the things, ladies and gentlemen. There are so many little things that we need to do uh, now that we've opened industrial craft to us. So, ejector. Got that. We got some tin rolling through. Last one. Very good. This should get us the auto ejector. Advanced ejector. I have no clue what that one does. That's only enough for one, though. I am failing at math tonight. And it is not like that. It is like this. Okay. Good. Now, these guys are pretty cool. So, you shift... Shift right-click on a block on which way you want it to go. Then you install that. And what it's going to do... If we don't have that iron there, for example... It is going to throw that tin directly over to the furnace. So, at least then we can start processing the tin. Okay? Make sense? We've gone through a lot of cold coke already. A lot of cold coke. 
burn time. Let's take a look. Is there anything better that we can burn? Everything wood's gonna be not as good. about it though, isn't it? All the rest of this is pretty much going to be wood. Hmm. Red coal from extra utilities, which requires purified coal, which has a ton of burn time. Okay. Well, that's the thing. Why is that not... Why is that not ejected? Is that not the right side? Facing west. Well, make up your mind, game. Ejecting to the west side. Boom. There we go. Now it's auto-ejecting. I tell you. I tell you. Why does it do the opposite? Okay. Good. We'll get the rest of this stuff processed as we have power. We definitely need to get some other forms of power. We can go things like, uh, if we look up industrial craft, you can do things like uh, windmills, water mills. There's just more basic generators. There is, of course, nuclear. There's solar panels. Not too bad, but very low power. Very low power for, for that. Steam boiler? I have no clue what some of this stuff is. I haven't used it in a while. We can definitely go with, like, water mills, I think. Do we generate some power? But they take quite a bit of effort. So let's get eight of these. Boom, boom, boom. Into the plates. And now we can do our ejector upgrade from the furnace into the chest. Okay? Boom. We gotta go to the west side. West side. And there we go. So now all of our ingots should end up in that chest. So let's put all of our ingots in there. Why not? Right? This will now be our ingot storage. So as these get processed, they will automatically get fired into that chest. Overall, very nice and a lot more efficient design, all things considered. The other thing that I'd love to get is the metal former. Um, this guy is not going to be easy. So for that, we're going to need a compressor, which sucks. <laughs> to say the least, it is terrible. Um, so let's look at something else. Block cutting machine is not bad. Um, recycler, macerator, compressor, canning. Electric furnace extractor. This is another beauty that we want to get. And this is going to get us more for our uh, system. Okay? So I think we should get it. I think that's going to be our goal right now. So we're going to need a cool 16 of these again. Um, what else does it need for that? Uh, extractor. So that, so we're going to need a cool 18 more iron into that form. Good. We can go over here. We can get this. We get our single block. Excellent. And then, of course, we need another one of those uh, copper setups. So I'm going to have to wait for some copper here as we go. So that'll be good. We can get some of that. Um, extractor. We will also need another cable, another wire, which we have. That's good. I really miss my mouse squeaks. I might have to, like, just install it or something. I don't know what to say about that. And you know what? I think I'm going to change this to be the top side. And I think I'm going to move this to be on top. Just because we're trying to keep everything in line. Right? So we we'll push everything to the top. And that way we can put our extractor right there, right alongside. Okay, good. So we got that. We got that. Uh, this can go right here. We're going to need some of the uh, things. 
beauty things. You know, the things that I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, let's do this. We'll get a little bit of wood. We're going to need the extractors. We're going to need four of them. Or the tree taps, I should say. Good. So that'll go there, 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 and there. And then all we need now is the circuit, which requires, of course, more rubber, which we need to smelt. And should give us everything we require. Uh, we'll need to get more as we go. But we're making progress on the IC2 front. Overall, I'm very happy. The generator is going to eat through our coal something fierce. But you know what? Early on progression, that's pretty good. Is there a geothermal? You know, maybe there's a way that we can get thermal. I don't think so. I think they've disabled all of the, uh, yeah, I think they've uh, disabled it all. Okay, because there's supposed to be a geothermal generator as well from IC2, but it looks like it's been disabled. So, you know, there's semi-fluid, there's sterling. Okay. Bio. Okay. That's not too bad. Empower. Double battery. Single battery. Energy module. Calculator. Oh boy. We're in for... We're in for a lot of stuff. We're in for a lot of stuff. Overall. Alright. I'm gonna do... Get some of this copper and stuff. And we're gonna get the extractor. And then we're going to be prepared to start on that and getting more rubber to our name.